Sarah Traver. I am really happy to be here in the studio with Amanda Stern today. Amanda has a show opening with us at Vetri later this year, and we're just here getting a little preview of what you're working on and to hear a little bit about how you came to make this work and the concepts behind it. So tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Uh, so these are the beginning of some of my modular series. Um, they consist of three parts, and these are the outside forms. So uh, I always start with just making the outside forms, and they're the most minimal shapes. Um, and the reason I start making all the outside forms at once is because as I start to make the middles and then the lids, I can interchange them, and uh, they start to kind of create themselves, I guess, in a sense. To me, they reference like design history in so many ways, like yeah. some of the artists like Stotzas and others, but they're totally Definitely. their own thing. Yeah. And they use the glass in such a different way than I've seen before. Oh, um, thank you. They were actually born from, uh, you know, the Dominic Lubino paperweight. I was thumbing through some old glass magazines and kind of that classical Dominic Lubino paperweight that has like the ruby and the apricot and the oranges just layered and mm -hmm. I just thought that's so beautiful but how do I incorporate that into the a process I like to do and that was kind of the beginning of these. Well show us around the studio a little yeah. bit. What are we looking at? I mean this is like one of the most beautifully organized studio Thank spaces you. I've ever been in and clear yeah. that you have a real love of color and sort of organization and the way things layer and the relationships to yeah. one another. So this is my color library. Um, since my work is all about layering color, I wanted a better way to organize that and a better way to play with colors. And I use that for all of my R&D on all of the pieces. Um, I often have maybe like five projects <laughs> going on at once. So. These are the modular series. I've been making them for a while now, and um, they're starting to evolve. Uh, I'm starting to actually get more into solid glass. And my intention with these that I'm still working through is to start to play more with asymmetrical form, um, cutting out some hollow pieces and stacking and building from there. So I'm excited to finish this, this set of modulars. Um, I feel like the last time I finished a full set was right before the pandemic. Um, but uh, I feel like what's happening now is they're really kind of evolving with some of the newer pieces too. So I'm excited to, to finish these and work through that and see where they go um, with some of the solid. 